Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reset your Windows operating system. So let's see how we can uh, do this. So for that, what you need to do is you just need to click on your Windows icon here, Windows start icon and then go to settings. And once this setting uh, window opens, you just need to click on the update and security option. And once this window opens, you just need to click on the recovery uh, option here. Now you can see uh, two options. One is uh, the reset this PC option and other is advanced startup option. We are interested in the resetting of our PC. So we will proceed with the first uh, option, right? Now it will not harm you to uh, read everything before going ahead. So it says, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal file or remove them and then reinstalls uh, Windows. Okay, so let's uh, click on this get started button. Now here you have two options. So if you want to uh, use your PC after the resetting, then you might want to choose the first option. But this uh, video is for the resetting of our PC to give somebody else. So we might want to uh, uh, remove everything, all the files and apps and reset uh, it to a newest form. So I am going to choose uh, this option, remove all the files. And now it's going to uh, give us this options. Now, as I said, if you want to uh, keep your PC, you can go back uh, to the previous step and choose uh, all these options again but I have chosen the remove everything because I want to give this PC to somebody else. And now in the next step, I see the current settings option here, just remove your files. This is quicker, but less secure. Remove all files only from the drive where Windows is installed. Okay, so I'm going to choose the settings from here. You can see data eraser, just remove your files. This is a quicker but less secure option. And the second option is remove all the files only from the drive where Windows is installed. So definitely uh, we are going to choose uh, this option because we want to make sure that everything is uh, secure and safe. So I'm going to choose uh, this option. And you can choose this option also. So both options you can choose at the same time. And at this point also, if you don't feel like resetting your PC or if you don't want to give your PC to uh, somebody else, then you can cancel this process. So this is the last step before we start the process of resetting. So hopefully you have backed up all the data which you uh, want to back up into a hard drive or somewhere else. And if you want to get help, you can uh, click on this button also. So for now, I'm going to just click on the confirm button. And then I see uh, this uh, window, which says remove files and clean the drive. This may take hours, but will uh, make harder to recover files. Other option is remove all files from all drives. And also you can see it says, show me uh, the list of uh, drives which will be affected. So I can click on this option and uh, I can see uh, the drives which will be affected by this reset. So I have created this F drive manually. So uh, after the reset, this drive will be uh, deleted or uh, cleaned at least. So I'm okay with it. So I will go ahead with it. At this point also, you can change the settings which you have chosen. And if you are happy with those settings, just click on confirm and then click on next. And now on the next window, I can see uh, ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on your PC, remove any changes made to the settings and remove all the apps and programs. This will take a while and restart your PC. So at this point, just make sure that your PC or laptop is connected to a power supply because it will be restarted uh, several number of times and it, it can take few hours to reset your PC. So once you have made sure everything is okay, just click on the reset button, which is going to uh, prepare this PC for the reset. And then it's going to restart several times. So at this point, you don't need to do anything. Just leave your PC on a table and uh, you can do something else 
everything will happen automatically until you see a start window and now i can see that my windows operating system has been restarted and now windows is preparing for the reset so now at this point my windows is factory resetted so at this point i can just switch off my laptop power and then uh, just give this to uh, the new user uh, for uh, his use right so whenever he will uh, start this pc he will see this kind of window where he can choose the country for example and then he will be able to uh, choose uh, the keyboard layout so he will uh, give his credentials to this windows operating system because it's uh, now totally resetted and he will give his preferences like keyboards and languages and uh, other preferences according to uh, his taste. How you can factory reset your Windows 10 operating system from the login screen. And somehow let's say you uh, are not able to log into your system. So I'm going to show you how you can reset your Windows operating system to the factory uh, default settings so that you can uh, give it to somebody. So for that, most probably you will see this window when you start your Windows operating system. On the login window, you will be able to see uh, these options at the bottom right corner. So what you need to do is you need to just press on the shift key. So just press on the shift key and then click on the uh, power button here. Okay, so press on the shift key and then click on the power button and then click on the restart button. So press shift key and then click on restart here, which is going to uh, show you this kind of menu. So here in this menu, just go to troubleshoot here and then you have this option to reset this PC. So just click on this option, which says reset this PC and you can see it says let's you choose to keep or remove your personal files and then reinstall Windows. So I'm going to just click on this option. And here you have two options, keep my files and remove everything. So most probably because you want to give it to somebody else. So you may want to remove everything from your personal uh, computer. So I'm going to choose this option which says remove everything. And once you press on the remove everything button, you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, window which will appear here. So here it says reset this PC. Your PC uh, has more than one drive. Do you want to remove all the files from all drives? So in this case, I'm going to choose this option which says all drives. I have this option also, only the drive where Windows is installed. But in this case, I want to choose this option which says all drives. Now on the next window, I have uh, these two options here and it says, do you want to fully clean your drive? Uh, when you remove your files, you can also clean the drive so that the files can't be recovered easily. This is more secure, but it takes more time. So uh, I'm going to just say fully clean my drive option here. And then on the next window, I see getting things ready. And here you see this window which says all ready to go. Make sure that your PC is plugged in. So make sure that your PC is plugged in with the power source because it might take two to three hours to reset your Windows 10 operating system. So here it also says that resetting PC or resetting uh, will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. It's also going to remove any apps and programs that don't come with this PC and it's going to remove any changes made to the settings. So, so basically it's going to factory reset your Windows operating system. So this is the last stage before which you can change your mind on, or you can just press cancel here. And after you press reset, your PC will start the process of reset. So think twice and then if you are sure, just click on the reset button. And once you click on this reset button, the resetting of your PC will start. Now, as I said, this process might take uh, 
one hour to two or three hours so just leave your pc uh, at some safe place so now at this point my windows is factory resetted so at this point i can just switch off my laptop power and then uh, just give this to uh, the new user uh, for uh, his use right so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video